This Mobile Geeks video is powered by Asus. Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks right here at Computex 2015, and this is the new Asus Zenfone 2. Yes, it's another Zenfone 2, so they're not launching Zenfone 3 or something. They're just upgrading the um, models that are available right now, and they're switching platform because this 5.5-inch model, which is the ZE550KL, is actually no longer based on Intel, but now they're switching to the Snapdragon 410 in this case, which is a 1.2 gigahertz quad-core SoC on this device, combined with 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of onboard flash storage, and a 5.5-inch display, 720p in this case. It's an IPS panel, uh, no full HD, but it's going to be pretty cheap. Starting around at around, my guess would be 200 bucks or 200 euros in this case. Um, we have a five megapixel camera on the front, as usual. That's your front-facing speaker right there, and the notification LED next to that are the brightness and distance sensors. The screen seems pretty nice. It does have good viewing angles, and the brightness is also pretty good because we are in a very, very well-lit area right here, as you can tell from the camera. Under the screen is still capacitive touch buttons, so Asus is not switching to Google's regime of putting those buttons on screen. So you have the back button right there, home button right there, and the multitasking button over here. The whole thing is made out of plastic, as you can see, but it feels very nice, and it doesn't really attract fingerprints, although this is um, at the press event where it will probably get touched by a lot of people. That's why it's kind of looking a little bit dirty right here. Um, what's special about this device is also not only what's inside, but also that they've switched to a uh, laser autofocus. So they're taking the cue from the LG G3 and LG G4 and are putting in this laser autofocus technology that will you, you allow you to zoom very quickly and have the zoom or the focus uh, adjust very, very quickly. It's combined with a 13 megapixel camera on the back that has Asus's um, Pixel Mount Master technology that's supposed to make very nice pictures in low light conditions. Next to that is a dual color LED flash for nice skin tones and we have the rear key set up with the volume rockers right here. What's still a bit strange about the Asus devices is that they are keeping the power button up on top so it's kind of hard to reach if you're holding the device with one hand. Some people won't ever get used to that but I guess most of them or most customers who are buying this very nicely priced device will probably get used to this pretty easily. We have the headset jack right there and again the power button on the bottom is the micro SD, uh, micro USB port and the single speaker on the back. You can remove the back where there is access to dual, LA, dual uh, SIM card slots and there will also be a 2000 900 milliamp hour battery that can actually be exchanged under the hood right here. Uh, we are running Android 5.0 Lollipop in this case based on the Asus Zen UI and we're just quickly going to switch into the camera so I can show you how quickly the focus works and uh, yeah, as you can see it does, definitely does have pretty good focusing speed and it's also very accurate so it doesn't um, produce many false positives in this case. So this has just been a very quick look at the Asus Zenfone 2 ZE550KL, now with laser autofocus and the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 410 under the hood at Computex 2015. And if you like what we do at Mobile Geeks, give us a thumbs up, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, Plus, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye, guys. This Mobile Geeks video is powered by Asus.